hello dear students so today we will start with the uh, basic introduction on the bridge engineering and its loading pattern so just in this uh, class we will uh, give you an idea that which type of the types of the bridge based on the material based on the purpose of the use based on the loading condition and based on the uh, your uh, deck slab based on the loading so the uh, types of the bridge are basically categorized so based on the various parameters so today we will just give you an idea that what is the bridge, what is the actual definition of the bridge and how the bridges are laid down and what are the various component or the structure of the bridges, how which type of loads come in, which type of structure and what are the IRC code are used for bridge engineering. So before going to start the lecture, so let me introduce myself, myself Dr. Devasi Das, I am the assistant professor of civil engineering department of Jazz College of Engineering Kalyani. So here is my contact details of mobile number, WhatsApp number and email ID is given. So if you have any doubt regarding this class or regarding the any other topic related to your transportation engineering, you are feel free to ask me uh, through the mail or the WhatsApp. So uh, without wasting the time, let's move to the topic. So before going to the topic, first we should know what is the content of uh, syllabus, syllabus we are going to cover in this bridge engineering and its loading pattern topic. So the first thing is the definition and the basic forms of the bridges, component of the bridges, classification of the bridges, short history of bridge development, IRC loading, IRC stands for Indian Road Congress, IRC loads, analysis of IRC load, impact factor, other loads to be considered importance of hydraulic factor in bridge design so what is bridge so bridge is basically a structure that permit us to cross over an obstacle means suppose they are what is what does it mean by the obstacles so obstacles it in terms of maybe river in terms of uh, maybe your small pond or basically some water body or, or in a place where some vacant land is there and we have to cover the from one portion to another portion uh, in, uh, with some pr uh, proper deck system or proper uh, construction civil engineering construction system that is known as the bridge so the suppose we uh, lay a plank across a brook if we have a bridge if the plank is thin in the re relation to its length it will sag in fact it is too long it will collapse the source that we must consider the weight of the bridge itself that is the dead load yes the load the first load we have to be considered is the dead load dead load means the low weight the self weight or the load of the bridge itself so keep in the mind you have uh, learned about the dead load the live load in your uh, previous courses of load combination or the structural analysis if we stand at the middle of the plank it sacks even more so we must provide for the for the weight of whatever our bridge is designed to carry that is called the light load so this basically these are some introduction or the definitions of various type of load what is uh, dead load what is life load what is moving load what is wind load what is seismic load these are the some definition of the types of the load and the basic definition of the bridge is basically it is a connection between two points or to uh, origin and the destination so what is the classification of the bridges so the classification of bridges are uh, divided based on the various parameters the first one is the function so based on the function it is aqueduct viaduct highway pedestrian etc second is based on your construction materials the materials are used the reinforced concrete the precious concrete steel composite timber so and even you can see uh, if you are uh, if you have ever visited uh, the Gangtok the Sikkim state there is a, some glass bridges are there so the glass is another type of the construction material then the forms of the superstructure so before going to the, the topic superstructure first you should learn the what is the meaning of the superstructure and what is the meaning of the substructure so basically the bridge is consisting of two type of structure one is superstructure one is substructure the substructure is the work reg regarding the foundation work means from foundation from ground level to the up to the level of the deck 
not the covering the deck. Deck means which one is deck? Deck is the portion above uh, above which the vehicles or the trains or the objects are moving. So after the so below the deck up to the ground level that is the substructure and above the deck uh, sorry and above this substructure whatever is laid down in terms of girder in terms of your cable state be in terms of your um, in terms of your segment of the bridge that means the portion which are used for movement of the traffic that is called the superstructure so in the form of superstructure the slab uh, bridge beam bridge cross bridge arch bridge suspension bridge cable state bridge interspan relation based on the interspan relation it is a simple bridge it is a continuous bridge or it is a cantilever bridge based on the construction method it is a pin connected riveted welded etc based on the span it is short span mid span long span right skewed and curved so uh, when we uh, discuss about the span one thing keep in your mind there is a basic difference between what is the basic difference between the bridge and the culvert so that is the uh, basic question and many students are uh, have some confusion am among the bridge and the culvert so if the length of a span is more than 6 meter then we call it is as a bridge but if the length is uh, less than 6 meter we call it a, as a culvert so next is the types of the bridges based on the surface and the duration that is the permanent bridge temporary bridge or the military bridge so the now is the types of the bridges and bridges component so what are the components of the bridges so classification with the Uh, with respect to the span so small span bridges is up to 15 meter the medium span bridges is up to 75 meter the large span bridges up to 50 to 150 meter that is a uh, uh, large bridge and extra large bridges is above the 150 meter that is called the extra large bridge so what are the basic components of the bridges so the as i said that the basic component is first substructure and the superstructure so what is substructure this includes the piers the abutment and the foundation and what is superstructure it consists of deck uh, structure itself which support the direct load due to the traffic and all other permanent and variable loads to which a uh, structure is subjected the connection between the superstructure and the sub substructure is usually made through piering however rigid connection between the piers uh, then what is pier we will discuss in the later stage then i will show some a uh, diagram of the substructure superstructure and piers and piles and pier cap the every component will be shown in later stages so uh, it's better to move to the next places where we can give you some pictorial view of the different component of the bridges so what is the bridges again some definition it is a bridge is a structure which provide a passage over a gap without closing the opening which is beneath the gap means suppose this is one portion this is another portion and here it is some water bodies are there so without closing this water body we provide some uh, structure to move from this portion to that portion and this is called the bridge so the definition of the bridge is uh, i think it is known to all of you uh, if you are not known the technical definition but you know uh, uh, a general definition of the bridge so the uh, initially the naturally available materials such as the stone and timbers were extensively used for the bridges but now it is artificial materials such as cement concrete and steel are used for construction of the bridges so the history of the bridges these are some history of the bridges and the bridges i will not go in deep uh, to this uh, because you can find out uh, find it out my notes uh, that is available uh, in youtube also so you can go to that you you can find out so without wasting so much time just give a introduction about the history so it is basically from the ancient history means from uh, here it is mentioned from the harsavardhana or be, even before him from till then to bro bro is a border road organization which are the main responsible for uh, construction of the road side of construction so there are various types of bridges are there so if you are from calcutta so you are, there is a howrah bridge with the sagar bridge hugli bridge so the if you uh, look closely the pattern of this of these three bridges are different these are the three bridges the three major bridges in calcutta apart from this major bridges there are a lots of minor bridges are there but uh, in many cases the configuration or the uh, your joint portion or the slab portion is different so there is a different terminology different type of the bridges based on the is con uh, construction method so we will discuss in the later stages so these are some the uh, ancient bridges you can find out
these are some ancient bridges not all the ancient this is a 1900 this is 1920 this is a 2000 this is a recent type bridge which stretch concrete bridge so this type of bridge you can find out in dto hukishetu so this is a same type of bridges you can find out uh, dto hukishetu and this is a combination the materials used is the steel and the concrete so the classification of bridges uh, probably the first category of the bridges is the masonry arch bridges so the masonry arch bridges are the basic and the uh, the first type of the bridges we have developed in the ancient history time Aesthetically, uh, aesthetically superior to slab bridges Considered to art shaped slab supported on two opposite uh, opposite wall And it was adopted earlier for small of uh, For a span, span of 3 to 15 meter in masonry And extended up to 519 meter in steel And 305 meter in concrete uh, has been built in the world so these are some examples across the world the largest length of the bridge so next is the what is a beam bridge beam bridge is when the something pushed down on the beam the beam bends so it tops edges is pushed together and its bottom edge is pulled apart beam bridges are horizontal beam supported uh, at each end by substructure unit and can either be simply supported when it beams is only connected across a single span so there is a different type of span pattern is there that is a simple span that is a continuous span there is a segmented span so there are various type of span system is there and based on the span system so you have already uh, read in your basic structural design or strength of material that the uh, concept of the compression and the concept of the tension so tension is always offered at the uh, bottom bottom of your uh, beam and uh, ten compression is always offered at the top portion so this is the basic concept of the beam bridges so these are an example of the beam bridges so you, you can find uh, three new term that is the pile and the deck and the pile base so this is suppose the ground layer this is the ground layer and this is the superstructure this portion is the superstructure so up to this deck this deck is the superstructure but below this deck whatever is available or you can see in this picture that is called the substructure so the, this is the difference between the superstructure and substructure the, this pillar basically in general term we call this a pillar but it is not the actual the technical term is the pile this is the pile so again there is some cap this cap system is there that is called the fire cap so pile cap again this is the uh, this is the there is a pier system is there so what the egg, so let move to the next slides to see the what is the pier cap, pile cap and what is the pier so this is a pipe culvert so this is this type of culvert you can see in the rural area or the semi urban area so this is basically provided to first pass the water so it is basically provided where some heavy rainfall area is there so in that area this portion is provided so that the water can be uh, circulated from this portion to the another portion uh, until and unless you provide some this type of pipe culvert, the water will stack and the area will be flooded. So the pipe culvert is consist of a pipe barrel under the embankment with protection work at the entry and the exit. So this is the concept of some pipe culvert. Now what is the culvert? As I said in the early, in initially that when you call it a culvert, so if the length of the span is less than 6 meter, we call it as a culvert. So what is culvert? Culvert is hydraulically uh, uh, hyd Hydraulically short conduit, conduit which conveys streams flow through a roadway embankment or past some other type of the flow obstruction. So basically this culvert is provided for the water flow or so that the water can be flowed from one portion to another portion. That is a slab bridge. That is a simple type of bridge. Here is only single span and that is a slab. The slab is used in the same type of slab uh, which are used for your uh, <coughs> rigid pavement so uh, you have not i think till if some students or in some of you have uh, heard about the term of the rigid pavement or some of you have gone through what is the rigid pavement so in rigid pavement basically we use some concrete slab so this type of slab when you use in the bridge this is known as the slab bridges this is the simplest type of construction adopt for small bridges and culverts span is in between 10 to 20 meters concrete slab touched monolithically over longitudinal border and number of the longitudinal girder depends upon the width of the road. Yes, the longitudinal girder means number of the, this is a block. These blocks are known as the girder. So this girder will be dependent on the width of the road. Width of the road again depends on the number of the 
vehicle or the number of the traffic movement so this ultimately the bridges are designed based on the traffic load condition means number of the vehicles means here is the number we consider in because to calculate the total load coming on the surface of the road so this is the lap type, uh, slab type of bridges then the plate girder bridges so if you see that this plate girder bridges are uh, of span of 10 to 60 meter can be extended up to 250 meter in continuous construction so this is one of the um, uh, most usable or most uh, usable or most commonly seen in our indian context also this is a plate girder bridge so uh, this bridge can be used for traffic movement of vehicular movement or even for the movement of the railway next is the truck bridges so truck bridges is commonly seen you have seen in many plus places this truck bridges so this truck bridges is uh, you can find out in hilly area or in the area where some uh, some historical or uh, incident are related to that area so the span of these bridges are 330 meter to 375 meter with in a simply supported case span is 300 uh, 30 meter to 5 even 550 meter for a combination case of cantilever and the simply supported so basically they are uh, the the uh, cases the suspended cases are two types of one is simply supported and the cantilever type of cases so this is the uh, example or the pictorial view of uh, uh, your truss bridges next next we will discuss about the suspension bridges so what is suspension bridges those are made up of high tensile steel, uh, steel cables strung in front of a centenary or to which the deck, deck is attached by steel suspension which are made up of steel uh, rods and members and cables so if you see the diagram you can find out that these are the rods these are the rods and these are the made up of with steel that is why it is called as the suspension bridges because it is suspended this bridge so if you see that there is no joints or no supporting means there is no pile no pile in this bridge so this deck is suspended by this type of this cable that is why it is called as a suspension bridge next is the what are the forces coming on the suspension bridge so if you see the suspension bridges so this is the suspension bridge so this is the similar type of suspension bridges a symmetric diagram is shown uh, to uh, give you an idea about the what are the forces come on the suspension bridges so if you see the, uh, look closely so there are the suspension <coughs> suspension under the tension here again suspension under the tension this is only one pile is provided two pile on one pile on each side then the anchorage under tension and so the basically this portion is on the tension this portion anchorage due to the uh, tension force will be occur due to the anchorage and due to the suspension of the uh, cable the suspension of the cable and the compression is occurred at below the deck level so if you see so this one is the again the suspension theory so this is the load combination or the type of the load coming on this uh, bridges next is the cable straight bridge so the cable straight bridges are like suspension bridges are held by the cables however in a cable straight bridge less capable is required and tower holding the cables are proportionally higher so the basic difference between the cable straight bridge and the suspension bridges so you can see that the uh, it is similar to your suspension bridges yes but the main difference is the number of the uh, the number the number of the required towers towers means these the, this piles are length the height of these piles are different for the cable straight bridge and the suspension bridge so similar to the suspension bridges except that there will be no suspend uh, there is no suspender in the cable straight bridge so in cable straight bridge there is no suspender a number of cables are stretched from support tower directly connected the decking and the cable straight bridges is never than the other type of bridges large upright steel supports are used to transmit the load into the ground so this is the uh, this is the completely still steel base so that the loads coming from these cables are directly transmit, transmitted to the ground for the cable straight bridge next is the cantilever type of bridge so the cantilever bridges is a bridge which built using the cantilever type of structure the structure that project horizontally into spaces supported on the only at one end so basically if you have 
uh, read the about the cantilever so you can find that the one portion is supported another portion is free so this type of bridges are also can be found out so this is the type of the cantilever bridges as these are the small component of the cantilever bridges uh, and the different type of loads means the different type of tension of the compression came from this type of bridge this is a type of the arc bridge this is again some historical type of bridge this type of bridge is rarely observed uh, or manufactured in today's scenario the arc has a great natural strength thousand of years ago romans built arc out of the stones so this is a stone arc bridge now that we are using the arc bridges of steel and the concrete so this is the type of the arc bridges so you can find out that this is the arc bridges that is the upper cord that is the lower cord and that is the deck and that is the pile and this whole portion is known as the arc so this is type of the arc bridges next what are the forces come of the arc bridges so basically these are the two forces coming the arc is squished together and this squeezing forces are carried outward along the car to the support uh, supports at the each end the supports called abutment this supports these supports are called as the abutment and push backs on the each uh, from the arc and prevent the ends of each and from the arc from the spending apart sorry these are the movable bridge so if you uh, if you are from calcutta you can found, find out this type of bridges in khidirpur khidirpur dock so this is a movable bridge because uh, this is provided uh, the movable bridge is provided so that the, some big ships or containments can be passed uh, below these bridges so this type of bridges you can find out where the height Uh, the gap between the deck and the water is very less and where the huge uh, height of the ships and containments are uh, our containers are moving along this river or the along the sea so this is a simple type of old age type of the your movable bridge so same similar type of bridge you can find out in the kidirpur dock in calcutta so the now the based on the structural arrangement the bridges are eye grind eye girder plate girder truss girder and suspension bridges based on the structural action and the natural superstructure action there is a simply supported span bridge continuous span bridge cantilever span bridge arch bridging rigid frame bridging so i have give you just basic thing about the cantilever arch bridge continuous bridge so uh, the, the but the loading condition or how we design the bridges based on the traffic load that will be discussed in the Uh, from the next classes today we will just uh, give you some idea of the bridges and its types of the bridges and the uh, uh, types of the bridges based on the various parameter next is the based upon the connection so it is a riveted bridges welded bridges bolted bridges pin bridges so if you uh, can if you have ever noticed the howrah bridge so it is basically uh, basically primarily it is a bolted bridges bolted bridge means the connections are joined using some bolt nut so this is the type of the bolt bridges next is the based upon of floor action deck type of bridges through bridge thorough type of bridges semi thorough type of bridges or pony bridges double deck bridges uh, used in the rail cum road bridges next is the based upon movement of the structural parts of the bridges that is the fixed bridge permanent bridge or the movable bridge as i showed in this and which can be found out in uh, some places in calcutta like kidirpur next is the based upon the purpose of the bridges means the bridge is used for which type of purpose either it is a road bridges or the railway bridges or the pedestrian bridges so basically the bridges are used for this three purpose only and if you think that the by this three purpose all the purpose will be served this is for pedestrian and, the one, and uh, another is for railway and the third one is for the road bridges now the based upon the irs based on the loading the bridges are divided in irc class a a irc class a and irc class b now detail about this irc class a a irc class a and irc class b will be uh, taken are separate two classes to make you understand about this load and to solve some mathematical problem so this three are the one of the important components while you are studying in bridge engineering so the basic thing is that we have to design the bridges based on some loading pattern based on the load come on the day due to the traffic movement of the vehicles or the train or the pedestrian so how the loads are considered this are this three course or this based on this three types of the loading pattern the bridges are designed now which type of course are reused for loading design uh, we will discuss at the at the end of this ppt 
Now based upon the span length as culvert, as I said the culvert is up to the length of 6 meter, minor bridges is from 6 meter to 30 meter and major bridges is over the 30 meter, more than 30 meter. So the history of the bridges development, I will not go to the uh, in a very uh, details about that as I said that this is the basic thing. So you just uh, have a look about that. So these are some type of bridges uh, which are from 780 Asia to your ancient from Harshavardhana to Harappa Mahindra road from that portion to your latest type of bridges. Latest type of bridges you can find out the cable straight bridge or the suspension bridge or the cable combination of the cable and the suspension bridge. So this is a typical single span bridges. Single span means there is no separate span. This is a only one span is there. So as you uh, uh, say, uh, seen in the uh, gutter bridges or your uh, pavement plate bridges or the pavement bridges that is some segmented some uh, gutter some small some small segment of gutter, gutters are there and that gutters are uh, placed in a, uh, in a portion wise and it again placed based on the width of the width of the road so based on that the gutters are placed and this is a typically single a single and single span type of simple type of the bridges so if you see that so this one is the superstructure this one is the parapet at the end of the superstructure this is the bearing this two portion is a bearing portion this is the abutment portion so what is the abutment already been discussed and this is the retaining wall this wall is supported this abutment and the bridges next is the basic components of the bridges this is a typical diagram of a bridges so if you see uh, okay let me zoom the photo so this so this one this one is typical diagram of the bridges so this one is the vertical piles which come from the super substructure this is the raked piles and again if you move to the upper portion means superstructure so basically the main component are in uh, in both the section in superstructure in substructure in both the uh, in both the part so there is a abutment wall this one is the abutment wall this portion is the curtain wall tower wall wing wall so there are various types of components are there in the bridge engineering so this is just a, a pictorial view of the various component of your bridge engineering aspect so this is the main component of the bridges so this is the guardrail this is the your girders this is the diaph uh, diaphragm and this is the tran transom or the pr cap so as i discussed so so this is the pile this is the pile and this is the pr cap and this is uh, and this is the pier sorry this one is the pier and this one is the pier cap this one this one is the pier cap this one is the pier cap so these are the some thing about the pier cap and what is the pile so these are some again some components of the your bridges that is pier cap or the pier cap this is the pier column this is the soffit soffit means that the below part of this deck then the bearing being bearing is provided at a joint in between the fire cap and the deck and this is the beams so this is the gutter the gutter beam so again these are the some component typical bridge component this is our truss bridges so these are the component of the truss bridges what are the various component so in float beam float beam then your strut portal strut portal bracing so if you have uh, done a uh, little bit study on the steel structure you can find out in steel strut you can you can find out this type of component in bridges next is the box culvert this box culvert is uh, you, you can also find out this box type of culvert in many places uh, this is a typical beam girder bridges this is a uh, simply a steep, uh, uh, beam uh, beam bridges this is the span of the beam bridges so typical span is span is in between 10 meter to 200 meter this is a uh, simple uh, type of the truss bridges this is again some beam bridges so this is the type of the bridges is found for just for example so this is the your uh, wall this is the wall is provided for retaining all other supporting wall to uh, provide this load to support this load okay so this is the beam bridges so what is the beam uh, a beam or a girder bridges is the simplest and the most inexpensive kind of bridges in its mo uh, most basic form a beam bridge consists of a horizontal beam and that is supported at each end by piers and the weight of the beam pushed straight down to the pier so this is the, some idea about the beam bridges 
this is the arch bridges so these things have already been discussed these are some more details about and with some pictorial example that how these bridges are look like and what are the various type of component for different type of the bridges so if you see that the component are different for the different type of bridges for rp for truss bridge for beam bridge the components are totally different see this is what is the interesting type of bridges so this one is i think i think i'm not sure but this thing is from i think venice uh, or in a country of the venice or some part of the paris so this is type of the bridges uh, where these types of bridges are used to uh, for uh, above the river so that the person can be this is the pedestrian bridges this is a pedestrian bridges because only the pedestrian can move in this bridges and uh, below this there is a movement of your boat and small type of jetties so this is a uh, uh, again your uh, suspension type of bridges so if you see that this is um, uh, built up on a river so again so this type of these are some example of the bridges so this is a example of the arch bridges so what is arch bridges arch bridges are the one of the oldest type of bridges and have great natural strength instead of pushing strength down the weight of an arch bridges is carried out toward along the curve of the arch of the supports at each end means the load which is comes it load is transmitted through this curve through this arc the load is transmitted through this arc outward to the bridges this one is the one outward and this one is the another outward so this is the return instead of pushing straight down means the load is not directly pushed in the below part it is transmitted to this portion and transmitted to this portion Next is the suspension bridges. Yes, we have already discussed this. This one is a type of your uh, Howrah bridges. So this one is a similar type of the Howrah bridges. This is the cable straight bridges. So the suspension bridges is what? Aesthetic, light and strong suspension bridges can span a distance from 2000 to 7000 feet. So 2000 feet is uh, approximately 500 meters. So approximately 500 meter to your uh, 560 meter or uh, 2000 means uh, yes approx 5 500 meter to 700 uh, 700 uh, 5 meter to uh, 500 meter approx approximately. So they also tend to be the most expensive to build. True of its name, a suspension bridge suspended the roadway from huge main cable which extended from one end to the another end so this is some basic about the suspension cable strain suspension bridges this is one of the example of the suspension bridges this is another cable strain suspension bridges so cable strain what is cable strain so cable strain bridges may look similar to the suspension bridges but both have the roadway that hang from cable and both have towers two bridges support the load of the roadway in very different ways the difference lies in how the cables are connected to the tower. So basically, the based on the arrangement of the cables, the suspension and the cable stretch bridges are classified. In suspension bridges, the cable reach freely across the tower, transmitting the load to the anchorage at the either end. But in cable stretch bridges, the cables are attached to the tower to alone bear the load. So it is in free for the case suspension and it is attached in both the tower for the cable straight bridge. So these are some definition or some details, more details about the cable suspension bridges. This is the type of uh, type of a different type of bridges. This is a suspension type of the bridge. So this is another type of bridges. So they are so you if you can find out so this is the underwater. So the bridges is coming in this way. This is below the under below the water and again from this portion the bridges have started so this is a typical type of the bridges you can find out this is another type of uh, type of structure uh, which you can find out in snow area uh, i think this type of bridges you have shown in social media and this is a uh, very much prominent and observed in the social media so this is this type of this alignment sorry this gradient is very difficult to design because that the gradient difference is very high and very fluctuating so this one see this is very dangerous type of bridges and this is uh, the height is increased due to this tidal effect of this water because if you see in the right 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 side photograph that the water is tided up to this height so you can imagine that how much it is risk to construct this type of bridges so this is another type of the bridges you can find out 
so there are a different type of bridges you saw so this just see this type of bridge this is one of the beautiful bridges you can see and this is you can if so you can imagine the height of this pile or this pier that what extent this is height so this is approximately 500 feet the height may be up to the 500 feet so this is a one of the beautiest uh, design of the bridges these are some example of the bridges you can find out now the brief about the irc code means which type of irc code we will uh, use for uh, construction of the bridge means i have told you that the bridges are designed for as per the loading pattern loading aa loading a and loading b so which code we will follow for loading aa loading a and loading b so for details you can find out the irc 5 the standard specification and code practice for road bridge section 1 general feature of design irc 6 standard specification and code of practice for road bridges section 2 this is loads and stresses this is section 4 for composite construction that is irc 22 irc 78 that is for section 7 this is for foundation and the substructure means the below deck below deck we using irc 78 then IRC 83 we are using for this is for bearing design and IRC 21 for plane and reinforced type of your cement concrete. So these are the codes that are used for uh, various uh, for design of the various components for superstructure, for substructure, for uh, traffic load, for bearing. So uh, this is the all about your the uh, basic definition of your uh, bridges, basic definition of your uh, loading pattern or basic basic definition of your basic idea rather to say basic idea about your various component of the bridges uh, and the, what are the various types of the bridges based on the purpose of the use so this is a description uh, the details about of the each type of vehicles each type of bridges and specially the loading pattern how we design the bridges as per the IC road that will be discussed in the next classes so till now if you have any query uh, this is up to today's class if you have any query regarding this basic issue you have my mail id you have my mobile number and whatsapp number so you can uh, give a call or you can write a mail to uh, get a clarification of your doubt so till the next class thank you and stay happy stay safe thank you